Ahoy there, ten cents! Hello, Captain. How goes the patrols? The sea is well. Thankfully, not a soul was lost to Davy Jones' locker. So how goes the docking? Oh, it's been busy. We recently signed a contract to house and supply the Royal Navy. Mr. Starr is very happy with the progress. Navy ships have been steaming in and out smoothly from Brendam. Watch, watch it. Dorkin, on the other hand. Graceful as ever, Jolin. Blasted cannon carriers. You should be more careful, Drolin. Why should I? They're preparing to get shot at whenever they sail off. A bloody bump won't sink a ship. I can speak from experience that it can do much worse. How? Did I ever tell you I used to work in Halifax? So? The date was December 10th, 1917. I was a tugboat working for the Halifax Seaport. That day... I was at the edge of the port. A French cargo vessel named the uh, SS Montblanc was entering the harbor. It was heavily laden down with about 60 tons of gun cotton, 500 bales of benzene, as well as TNT and acid. Usually, there wouldn't be that much explosive on one ship, but it was the middle of the Great War, so speed was a priority. The Mont Blanc was steaming into the harbor when a Norwegian steamer dubbed the SS Imo was exiting the port. The Mont Blanc whistled for the Imo to yield, but the Imo would not. The captain of the Mont Blanc then ordered the ship to turn and cross the channel. However, it was too little too late. The IMO slammed into the side of the Mont Blanc and it caused the Menzil cargo to leak from its containers, which ignited when the IMO reversed out from the side of the ship. The fire spread throughout the ship and was too large to extinguish. The crew of the Mont Blanc abandoned ship and fled to the shoreline. Minutes later, I had no idea. Keep in mind, Jolin, how you handle those ships means life and death. Part of my interjection, Jolin. But you only seem to be like that when you're handling Navy ships. Do you perhaps know why? I just don't like them. They're rude and smelly. Come on, Jolin. I have to escort cattle tramps and oilers. They are every bit as foul-mouthed and smelly as Navy vessels are. We all have had experiences with cargo vessels as rough as the seas. I doubt anything you have experienced tops ten cents. Fine. I will tell you. It was July 3rd, 1940. I was a French tug vessel at the Port of Mers al Kabir, which at the time was housing a portion of the French Mediterranean fleet. Left me adrift at the entrance of the harbor 
where I was discovered by one of the British destroyers. Due to the need of ships in England, they tethered me to it and brought me back, where I was repaired and put into service here. So there you have it. That is why I hate the Navy. Now knowing that, I don't blame you for holding the grudge, Drolin. But this is a dangerous job. You cannot pick and choose when to be safe. I'm sorry. I'm happy you got that sorted out. It's almost time for me to return home. Have a safe night, lads. Hold on. We told our stories. It's your turn. I don't think my worst experience is comparable to you, lads. Do you think it was easy for us to talk about this? We said our piece. I'll say yours. Uh, oh, all right. A few years ago, I had to rescue a swimmer in a storm. It was rough seas, but I kept going. However, we never found the swimmer. All we could find was a life preserver with their name. That's sad. May God rest their souls. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. It's all part of the job. For every victory, you must suffer a defeat. Attention! Ten cents. The HMS Habakkuk is entering the harbor and needs to be docked. Drolin, a supply ship needs to be let out of port. Move! 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 That's my cue, fellas. Good luck, Drolin. Safe to you, Ten cents, And safe sailing to you, Captain. Full steam ahead, Drolin. Full steam ahead. said they received an SOS call from just outside the harbor. Do we know who it is? No. Well, let's hope it's not a fate. We don't need our own Saint Nazaire. Off the port bow. Please don't shoot. Jal? <gasps> what happened here? What's going on? Nothing. What the hell? <sighs> what was up there? You don't need to know. Come on. Was it any worse than that attack on the harbor last year? Yes. We don't want to get involved. Captain? 
Captain! Captain! Oh, what? It's time to go. Oh, full steam ahead. <laughs>